Managing natural disasters like wildfires and floods is hard enough, but Auditor General Karen Hogan's latest report suggests money needs to be better spent to prepare for them. Over the last 13 years, First Nations communities experienced more than 1,300 emergencies, leading to more than 580 evacuations, affecting more than 130,000 people. Indigenous Services Canada, or ISC, spent 3.5 times more on responding to emergencies than supporting First Nations communities to prepare for them. And as of April 2022, 39% of structural mitigation projects were eligible but waiting for funding. At a press conference Tuesday morning, Hogan said what is even more discouraging is Indigenous Services has made very little progress on these issues since they were first flagged in another audit almost 10 years ago. And so many of our findings are exactly the same and the same that they had identified in the past. Um, and it does seem that the focus is more on being reactive than being preventative. And it is a recommendation that we gave the government that it's, it's time to see the value in investing in being better prepared and in supporting First Nations communities to develop the capacity they need to respond to some of these emergencies. And she said the government has also made little headway reaching emergency management preparedness agreements with provinces and First Nations. There's been time and money invested in trying to establish what comparable services might be and so that roles and responsibilities are clear, but there's been no advancement in, um, in, in demonstrating that more multilateral agreements are out there um, and that the communities know what to expect if they need to reach out for help in, in these times. ISC Minister Patty Hyde admitted her department has to do better. The challenge is getting uh, all of our minds oriented towards a prevention adaptation approach while also having enough in reserve to be able to respond to these crises. So it's about shifting the way that we think about it. And there will be a transition period where you're spending a lot on responding to emergencies and a lot on getting communities ready to um, be more uh, prepared and, and have more adaptation strategies. But she said that some progress is being made toward multilateral agreements with BC and Manitoba. So we're hoping to get some momentum with provinces understanding that this really is going to be an all hands on deck sort of shift from reaction only in rare circumstances to the prevention and adaptation that's going to be required as we see increasing events like this every single year. Fraser Needham, APK National News, Ottawa.